For Atlanta, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Young with it, now guarded by White. Alley oop up top, hammer it home. The vision of Trey Young has on the floor is exceptional. He won't miss a guy who's that wide open. Here's Brown. And Let's Brown go. with the stuff. Now Murray. Pass to Young. From outside the arc. And they get it back from deep. Unable to get that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Uh, becoming a star before our eyes. Brown's work ethic and desire to be great has transformed him into an elite talent. At the line for two. And he sinks the second. Here's Young. Collins outside. And the call will be against Derek White. That's foul number two for him. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. The Celtics making a switch here. Pritchard's checked in. Back to Collins. Shot from 12. Atlanta again missing. Boston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Young. And here's Brown for three. Yo. And the three-pointer goes. Brown's got eight. This speaks to Brown's desire to become a focal point of this offense. He's such a confident shooter now. Collins against Tatum. Six on the shot clock. Here's Young. Misses off the right iron. The Celtics with the lead. Outside Tatum. From deep. And again. Got him. Step up on it. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Austin on offense. They're on a 14 to 4 run. And here's Brown for three. Atlanta with a rebound. Here's Hunter. Hauled in by Brown. Is Pritchard. Collins with the rebound. A rare miss for him at point blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. Incredible. I mean, high energy in transition. Just beating the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Now here's Hunter. Collins outside. Back to Hunter. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. New players entering the league sometimes don't challenge you from mid-range, but Hunter is excellent from there. And so he throws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. There's no debate there. He got hammered. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Celtics. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball playing selfless basketball and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. Atlanta's gone 0 for 3 from downtown. There's Young with the 3. Here's a Kongu. And he got the oh. whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line yeah, from there. The I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim. He temporarily prevented the points. Second free throw, no good. The Celtics shooting just 38% so far in this one. Hunter with some nice D. The Hawks trailing. Murray with it. Guarded now by Holiday. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Never wants to shy away. Collins delivers as much contact as he receives. Porzingis finds Brown. Oh, rebound by the Hawks. Murray's got four rebounds now. Pass to Young. Collins outside. Here's Murray. Fires from 14. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got four rebounds now. There's Tatum with the three. Akangu with the rebound. Hunter on the wing. Defended by Brown. Pass to Young. From 
deep three-point range. Boston with a rebound. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite this difficult quarter he's had. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. So for the Hawks, Johnson, he's checked in for a Kongwu. Bay comes in for Hunter, and Bogdanovich is subbed in for DeJounte Murray. Now here's Young, looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich, going. Six to shoot. Collins outside. 4-3. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Brown with it. Oh, oh right off that up. That is a rarity. He takes flight. He usually hammers it home. And he makes a first. You know the rise of Trey Young here in the league has been nothing short of fantastic. Every season, he just continues to improve on himself and outdo his previous best. And the Celtics making a change here. Tillman's checked in. Now here's Bay. Pass to Johnson. Now Bogdanovich. Holiday. Bogdanovich, no good. And for Boston, they're shooting around 32% to begin this game. The shot by Holiday, no good. And the Hawks shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Here's Bay. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. What a pass by Bogdanovich. Sending it straight to the wide open man. Why can't I make this? Here's Brown. The rebound oh, by the Hawks. Yeah. Yeah. Bogdanovich with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Hey, from long range. That shot, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. Going inside. Kick out to Brown. Again, Brown missing. Having a shaky time from the floor. But his teammates have been picking up the slack. Young. And the layup is good off the glass. Now just a two-point Celtic lead. But D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's how this run. Now I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. The green light they gave him early should probably turn red. He needs to get others involved. Outside Young. Here's Collins. Good D by Porzingis. How many shots has he missed this quarter? Might be time to find offense elsewhere. Rebounded by Johnson. Wow. Now that's got a highlight reel in your mind. But in reality, it didn't work. Some changes for Boston. Brissett comes in for Brown. And it's Hauser in for Holiday. Finney Smith checked in for the Hawks. Here's Atlanta with the ball. It's a three-point game. Hauser, that's good. And that's what the Get him open looks early. He's such a good free throw shooter. But you don't want to foul him unless it's absolutely necessary. First free throw is good. Cadiz checked in for Boston. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Griffin's checked in. Boston with the ball. Covered by Johnson. Tillman. And he's Come going on. to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. And for the Hawks, they're shooting only 26% in the first. Now here's Young, guarded closely. The kick out to Johnson. It's picked off. Here's Brissett. To the right side. Another shot. Two minutes. Atlanta with a rebound. 152 left in the opening quarter. Here's Johnson. And 
It's Ooh. Tillman with the rebound. Listen, the Celtics with the lead. Pass to Hauser from the arc. The putback. Oh, come on, bro. Good hustle, bro. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Bay finds Griffin. Outside Young. Bay with it. Down to five on the shot clock. There's a screen. Johnson passes to Bay. And so it looks like it'll be Atlanta's ball. And let's take a look at who's been lights out from beyond the arc in this year's playoffs. Well, you look at Griffin, just an outstanding shooter. He's currently fifth in the league in three-point percentage. Some guys thrive on the postseason pressure. He's been an unbelievable floor spacer for them. And they've had a rough opening from the field. Pass to Brissett over Finney Smith. Brissett no good. Can't fault the play call. Even though he could convert, that's a good shot. Oh. Young misses. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they dug this hole. Guarded by Young. Here's Hauser. Austin, no good that time either. The Hawks trailing. And a deep three from Young. Young missing again. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. For yes, set shot is good. His set numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. Pass to Tillman. To the paint. Sam Hauser. You can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. It's been all about Jalen Brown for the Celtics, dominating on the glass. What a quarter. We'll be right back after this word. from the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Oh, what a first quarter. You love their willingness to make the extra pass. And that's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. We've got O'Shea Brissett. He's out there with Al Horford. And it's Kata in at the five spot. Wow. That's wow. the Boston Five. With his length and strength, Hunter's a force around the bucket. Defended by Murray. Brissett's shot is good. Brissett's gotten his second bucket. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Spin. Griffin passes to Murray. Fires the three. The shot no good. And Boston going the other way now. Oh, plenty of contact hey, on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take the free throw Jesus, now. Man. It's going to go on DeAndre Hunter. Heard this old the man. veteran savvy of Horford. I mean, he does an outstanding oh. job going after the defense and drawing the risk. So for the Hawks, John Collins comes in for Finney Smith, and Bogdanovich is subbed in for Griffin. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Over to the left wing. With the seven-footer. And Murray finishes inside. Murray's got his first basket of the night. Every time I see Murray, I'm reminded that he has a lot of moves around the court. What? Cup. Kept alive. Pass to Hauser. Here's Kata. Out to Horford. Three-pointer. Here's Brissett. And another shot. Hauser, that's good. Seven points in the game. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Launches a three. Connects from downtown. That's and it's a 12-point Celtic lead. All game long, he's been getting to his spots. And the defense has yet to adjust. Hauser. Inside. A combo. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Guess what, though? Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. They get it back. 
goes up again. Rejected by a Kongu. Outside Murray. Outside Hunter. Puts up a three. Here's a Kongu. Hauser grabs the board. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. And no problems knocking that one down. White's got himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Tillman's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Holiday. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. The crossover. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. For Boston, they've got four of eight shots to drop in the second. And again, Boston with the triple. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Murray against White. Pass to Bogdanovich. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Tatum passes to Porzingis. Uses the glass it's on the layup. Porzingis has got seven points. Not an ideal start for them. The shots were dropping. But they're definitely surging now and could open this lead up even more. Murray from outside. Atlanta again missing. Boston's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. White. Pass to Hauser. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. And now the Hawks on the break. Outside Murray. Here's Collins. Atlanta again missing. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Tatum from long range. Rebounded oh. by the Hawks. Akongwu's got his fifth rebound in this one. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Pass to Tatum. Outside Porzingis. Rebound Atlanta. Akongwu's got six rebounds here tonight. And he lobs it up to the rim. And stolen by Porzingis. Here's Hauser. No good with the triple. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Outside Bogdanovich. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Here's Tatum. No good. A bit long that time. Any hope of coming back to win this game looks near impossible. I know. The way things have gone so far, hard to imagine. Confident on the take. I like watching Bogey knife inside. Here's Tillman. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Hauser. Both good from the line that time. Boy, this Hawks squad is struggling. And here's Murray. Shoots over White. Murray, no good. Right side Brown. That three's off the mark. And for Atlanta, they're shooting a low 26% from the field. Outside Hunter. The 15-footer. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Hunter's got four points in the quarter. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Here's Tillman. Hunter with some nice D. Atlanta is shooting only 36% during the second. Murray passes to Hunter. And the three off target. And for the Celtics, they're shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Here's Tillman. And he goes in for the dunk. Well, he's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. And the 
call will be against Derek White. That's his third foul so far. And that's his third oh, foul. Okay. Two okay. Two. Take, leaving him in with two. Let's see if they're sitting him now until the half. Atlanta making some changes here. Johnson is checking true. for a Kongwu. May comes in for Hunter. And it's Young in for DeJounte Murray. And the Celtics call time here. Now into the lineup for the Hawks. Jalen Johnson. The Celtics are making a switch here. Holiday has checked in. And let's take a look at the players leading the way in assist here in the postseason. Third is Trey Young. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. John Collins is one of those guys when he leaves the floor, mm -hmm. he just keeps going up. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Young with it. He's got 10. Five to shoot. Bogdanovich passes to Collins. Outside Tatum. And then Fuck that is trade. We don't always get to see this from Tatum. Adding the sizzle to the stake. Pass to Collins. And here is Young. Back to Collins. Over Porzingis. Here's Young. What? That shot off the mark. Brown with some nice D. White finds Brown. Oh! And by Brown. Beautiful find by Derek White. When you start your career with Coach Popovich, you either make the next pass or you don't get minutes. May passes to Collins. Basket counts. Collins has got six points. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on John Collins. It's really good to see Chris Stapp's inside forcing the issue. They know his outside abilities, but he can also bang down low. So both teams making some changes here. Here's Young. Ten points for him. Pass to Bay. Shot clock at six. Into the lane. The D. Flashing to the rim with force. Bay takes initiative and finishes strong. And that's collected by Trey Young. Young's got his fifth rebound in this one. Johnson passes to Bay. Here's Young. That one is off. And Austin going the other way now. Here's Tatum. And he can't Lucky. jam it through. Wow. Now that's having a highlight reel in your mind. But in reality, it didn't work. Knocks it loose. Brown with the steal. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Porzingis. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Standing at 7-3, we have never seen a player quite like Kristaps Porzingis. A fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Both free throws good from Porzingis. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Hey. Nice D from Brown. And for Boston, they're shooting just 34% so far in this one. From downtown, wow. Porzingis misses. And Atlanta shooting a rough 29% from the field here. Young finds Bay. Griffin with it. Shot clock at five. Atlanta again missing. Pass to Porzingis. The three ball. Why is it so slow? The rebound by the Hawks. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Outside Young, looking to get it going. Hauled in by Brown. And the Celtics shooting just 38% in this quarter. The deep three from Porzingis. And they recover it to the middle. The rebound by the Hawks. Johnson's got his fifth rebound in this one. 
They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Yeah, that one's good. Young. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Here's Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Give Tatum credit. Getting ideal positioning inside and hammering it down with power. Here's Bay. And Porzingis with the block. And the ball the bounds. The Celtics will have it. Orford, he's checked in for Boston. Boston on offense. It's a 22-point lead, the most they've led by. And the Celtics call time here. Stops forcing Here's Brown. There's the drive. That shot missing. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Pass to finish Smith. The three. The rebound. Celtics. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Horford outside. From the high post. Can't hit it. He's 0 for 2 now. And for Atlanta, they're shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Just five on the clock. The floater deflected. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation the buzzer sounds. So And here's Brown for three. Good! Without a second to spare. Oh, you got to have some real nerves to hit that shot. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Man. We'll be coming right back after this. That's just the first half. Thanks for being with us. We're happy. Are you happy? Everything is going as planned in games. If you want to know why they're dominating, seven. look at the rebound. They are owning the glass on both ends, and they're doing a great job of turning those extra possessions into points. Yeah, in terms of chasing down misses, this has been a Kind of like you at the free throw line, and I have to chase down the ball. Well, that's what you are, a ball chaser. Get it? I can't shoot. I can't shoot. Looking at how the Celtics are doing... Thanks for joining us. It's time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Sits and rebounds, some steals, big old percentage better. Yeah. And our coverage of Game 7 continues. Intense atmosphere right now. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And Atlanta, looking at who they've got. Hunter is the three, with Collins at the four. Young runs point, with Murray at the two. And it's a Kongwu, in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's a Kongwu, using his post moves to get the two points. The Kongwu's got eight. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Holiday passes to Brown. Fires from deep. The rebound by Murray. Murray's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And here's Hunter from the arc. And they'll get another chance. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. The Celtics making a switch here. Kate has checked in. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. Nunez, About a minute played here in the second half. Oh my God! Here's Murray got a hand on it. White against Murray, and here's Brown Shit. for three. Sinks the tray. He's got 18. When you've gained a decade or more of experience, this is what tends to happen. Holiday stand very patient, waiting for someone to break free. Here's Brown for three. Akongwu with the rebound. Akongwu's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 
Down low. Oh, oh. get it to go. His second yeah. miss in six drives. Tatum way outside. From beyond the arc and then some. Tatum's got six points in the quarter. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This yeah. defense looks rattled. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's just playing the oh, exact opposite. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Shot to stop the run. For three, Collins. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got his eighth rebound here tonight. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Atlanta's got nothing to fall here in the third. 0 for 4. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Outside Holiday. Excellent D there from Collins. And the Hawks shooting a rough 25% for the field in this game. Young, the pass to Murray. The shake. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Good example of the new breed of point guards. Murray creates for himself as well as he creates for others. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Left side, Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Pass to Murray. Fires for three. Kata pulls it in. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. A tag mode right there. He plays bigger than his size. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And there's just one foul now away from the middle. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Hawks. And Boston calls time here. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Pulls it in from the elbow. Murray for three. Boston with a rebound. Brown's got rebound number 11. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. And the foul on DeAndre Hunter. That's his third foul of the game. Pass to Keita. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. As a defender, you have to get more physical with him in the post. And if you don't, they keep finding the matchup every time up the floor. Collins passes to Murray. That's what you do. Off target with the three. Something's off about him this quarter. Yeah. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Tillman's checked in for Boston. Well, the Hawks shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. Bogdanovich passes to Murray. Back to Bogdanovich. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Holiday finds White. Fires the three. The rebound by the Hawks. Bogdanovich from long range. The shot That's comes down. out. Boston on offense. They're on a 16-3 run. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Bogdan Bogdanovich. That's his first foul. Pritchard's checked in for Boston. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. Peyton Pritchard. Now here's White. Pass to Pritchard. Clock at six. Pure from three-point range. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. From 12 feet, the rebound, Celtics. Tillman's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Outside Murray, pass to Collins. 
to the inside. Here's a Kongwu. Oh, Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Boston. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them. So they have just stuck with the game plan. And also, I just love how they've been moving the ball side to side on the perimeter. Great passing, unlocking their offensive potential. Down low, Kata. Hunter with the rebound. And Atlanta has possession. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on White. Aggressive inside. When Hunter attacks, good things happen. Love the initiative. Free throw good, Hunter. And some changes here for the Celtics. Horford, he's checked in for Tillman. And Brissett is subbed in for Jason Tatum. Johnson, he's checked in for the Hawks. Here's White. He got a piece of it. Wow, bogey plan. The enforcer acting just in time to knock it away. Here's Murray. The rebound, Celtics. It hasn't been all bad shots for him, but you wouldn't know that looking at his percentage from the field. On the take, oh, cool. out to Horford. And they get it back. Wow, another opportunity. Just everything going their way. Pretty much the story of this game. Hunter passes to Murray. Now here's Bogdanovich. Pass to Okongwu. Hey, expanding his range. The rebound by Brissett. Brissett's got his fourth rebound in this one. To the middle. Here's Okongwu. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And he drops the first. Drew Holiday's checked in for White. Bay, he's checked in for the Hawks. Griffin comes in for DeJounte Murray. And so he hits both. And for Boston, they're shooting about 42% on the third. Pass to Keita. He can't get that one to fall. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Left side, Johnson. Over Horford. Offensive board. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. First one falls for him. Shooting for Atlanta. On Yekka Okongwu. That one's no good. The Celtics shooting around 35% from the field so far. Driving inside. A shot to stop the drill. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The first free throw is good. The Celtics making a switch here. Porzingis has checked in. Both shots good for the strike. And the Hawks shooting a tough 22% from the field so far. Bay right side. Outside Bogdanovich. Four on the clock. Pass to Okongwu. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Porzingis against Bogdanovich. Let's go with a three. Horford pulls it in. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Pass to Holiday. The pull up. And too long on the shot. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Horford, right side. Knocks down the 18-footer. Well, Horford isn't afraid to go old school and drop a shot there from mid-range. There's the double team with Horford. Outside Bogdanovich. Inside, the kick out to Griffin. Five on the clock. From deep, Johnson. Rebounded by the Celtics. The three is up. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Pass to Bogdanovich. It's not bad. That was clean. 
And that one falls for Bogdanovich. What impresses me is the efficiency of Bogey's game. He works so hard to develop that consistency. Tillman's checked in for Boston. Brown comes in for Drew Holiday. And a change for the Hawks. Finney Smith's checked in for Kongwu. Here's Brissett. It's tipped. Back to Tillman. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Doesn't go that time. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Penny Smith's shot is off. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Porzingis misses. Just not feeling it from beyond the arc. Sometimes that happens. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Penny Smith's shot is off. Here's Brown. That went off the back iron and out. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid range and fail to connect. And that one falls for Bogdanovich. And so Bogdanovich nails them both. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. The kick to Tatum. Here's the three. A rebound by the Hawks. Johnson's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Outside Bogdanovich. Boston with a rebound. Tatum's got rebound number 11. And here's Brown for three. Benny Smith pulls it in. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Bay. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Brown. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Outside White. Back to Brown. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. <laughs> Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And finished off by Tatum. Going into his role as a franchise player. Tatum with a huge game. It's been so much fun watching him tonight. Bogdanovich. And so it's Boston. Just dominating it's over. the opposition as they maintain a this game's over. advantage. The hustle they've Dang. shown on defense has been tremendous. We'll be back in a moment. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Well, the Celtics shooting 32% for this game. Not what they're hoping for. The core of this team. It's Brown and Tatum. They're the forwards. Drew Holiday out there with Derek White. And it's Kata in at the five down low. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Tatum way outside. That one falls. Nice feed that time for Holiday. Holiday's got four assists now tonight. When this guy starts hitting threes, watch out. He's just pouring it on this half. Pass to Griffin. Down to five on the shot clock. Holiday against White. The shot by Holiday. No good. Boston with the ball. It's Brown on the wing. Looking to get back on the ball. Oh, sweet oh, move. my goodness. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they maintain their focus. Holiday against White. Can they get it? The rebound, Celtics. Tatum way outside. Holiday grabs the miss. We all know he's a good shooter, but from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Holiday. The Hawks have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Pass to O'Neal. 
Now Griffin. And there's the block. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. An ascending superstar. Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. Here stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Boston. And a change for the Hawks. Collins, he's checked in for Griffin. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Pass to Matthews. Nails it from three. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Porzingis misses. The Hawks have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Holiday against White. To the wing, right side. Here's Collins. That one rolls around and rims out. The Celtics have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. And it's Tatum missing. I have no clue why he pulled up from there. At this point in the game, it just doesn't make any sense. You know what we call this play? A dumb play all the way around, especially at this particular time. And they recover it. And his teammates appreciate the energy. Nice job to keep oh. the possession going. Outside, Finney Smith. Here's Collins. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. Well, when you play as hard as Collins does, you're going to get to the foul line. Katis checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Right on the wing. The 17-footer. That one falls. Nice feed that time for Holiday. Holiday's got five assists in the game. Getting his points within the flow of the system. White simply does what he has to do. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivered. White against Holiday. Pass to Collins. Atlanta again missing. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Holiday against Brown. Here's O'Neal. From seven. Now here's Finney Smith. Holiday from long range. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Here's Brown. Finney Smith pulls it in. Finney Smith's got four rebounds in the game. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Holiday. And stolen by Holiday. Now the Celtics on the move. White for three. Hits a three-pointer. That gives him a double-double in this one. <laughs> you know, a pretty easy solution to stop in this run would be to get back on defense. It's pretty simple. Tipped. Get your start. Here's Tatum. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And look at Tatum getting aggressive inside. Firing off his shot while drawing the foul. So it's both teams making substitutions here. So he gets them both. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. Pass to Hunter. Back to Holiday. Will it go? Austin with a rebound. Brown's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And Jalen Brown gets the whistle that time. <laughs> I tried to dunk on him. That's going well. to go back the other direction, but they played a pretty clean game. Not many giveaways, and the score reflects that. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Tillman's checked in for Tatum. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Young's checked in. Collins defending. Oh, great teamwork right there. Hey, you got to love the finish. Bringing it down with some attitude. Outside Young. From deep. The rebound, Celtics. Tillman's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. 
trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Cutter against Brown. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the timeout or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Young way outside. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum what? here. to Matthews and stolen by Brown fast break here come the Celtics here's Tillman he's marked by Finney Smith to the paint it's stolen by Hunter no good there it seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. And we have to give him props. It's rare these days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. And this is what makes Brown so dangerous. His ability to slice and dice physical defenses to pieces. They've been making plays at both ends during this run, Grant. When you're in a groove like this, there's no better feeling. Three-pointer. The shot misses. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Young with the bucket. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. And Brown <laughs> with the stuff. This guy has crazy hops. Brown levitates over the floor. Here's Matthews. Inside. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Boston calls timeout. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Zengis has checked in for Keda. Brissett comes in for Jalen Brown. And it's Hauser in for Drew Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. And it's stolen by Finney Smith. And so it looks like it'll be Atlanta's ball. And so it's Atlanta with it. Young from long range. Wow. Since the break, he has struggled to get going. Shot is up. Knocked loose. Attack mode right there. He plays bigger than his size. To the left wing, Tillman. And Young oh, pulls it down. Oh, Young's got his eighth rebound. All the ways I could miss. Pass to Griffin. Over Porzingis. Oh, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. He missed Chris a stops putback. Porzingis jump. picks one up. Second team foul. The first one falls. Never seen that before. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Boston shooting right below 40% here in the fourth. He tries to break his ice. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And he drops a first. And that's good as he hits both shots. Now Young. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Fearless attacking the heart of that defense. Young is willing to take punishment to get his points. 
Here's Porzingis. And the shot's good. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused, and they've executed. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Knocks down the triple. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Here's Bay. The kick out to Griffin. Pass to Okongwu. Over Porzingis. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Benny Smith pulls it in. Bay left side. Lays it up and banks it in. And there aren't many feelings like this in sports. Knowing you've earned a trip to the NBA Finals, a special moment for the Celtics. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And breathing a sigh of relief now. Enormous pressure coming in. It's easy to tighten up, play not to lose, but they really brought the energy. A well-deserved victory here tonight. They had to fight and bite and scrap and claw their way through the conference finals. Just when it seemed like they might be in trouble, they turned on the afterburners. It was a tremendous effort. Get out of way, Rick. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Jason Tatum. Throughout the night, he was their catalyst at the offensive end. Play after play was run through him with great success. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please, that's terrible. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Finney Smith. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Kristaps cool. Porzingis picks one up. And he knocks down the first one. Line for two. Good on both. And Boston calls time here. They're in front by 50. There's 18 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? Interesting timeout with this game mostly in the bag. In my opinion, I think they're looking to make a substitution. But let's see out of the timeout. From the inbound. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. And that one misses. Griffin left side from the baseline and misses it off the right side of the rim. Here's Hauser. And the oh, Suck incredible. it. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Yeah, the go. defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. We're going to the finals. And the Boston Celtics will move on. And you can see the elation on their faces. Not just happiness, but pure excitement to be headed to the NBA Finals. And it's been exciting for us to watch their progress throughout the season, Grant. And now they're so close, B.A., to completing their mission. It's easy to look ahead. But winning the East is such a major accomplishment in and of itself. You hope they'll take the time to cherish this moment. It doesn't come around every year. Ah, but the turnaround is quick. With the Finals, they'll be Great here touch. before they know it. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this two like case. Eastern Conference MVP. Should probably be Tatum or Porzingis. And steals, nice. Tatum came with the rebounds and blocks. I love it. So with the turnovers, I see some dunks in the face. Ah, that was a beater.
Kiri ni kiri.